So guys, so guys, so guys, so guys, so guys, man. As you can see from the title of this video, if you have social media, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard the news, but on November 30th, uh, 2023, uh, that boy Mike Williams, man, that boy Mike Williams has officially beat the case. And I'm pretty sure you guys have heard uh, the case details like 80, 50,000 million times, but we got to read it just in case if people don't know. But as you can see here, uh, Mike Williams, a Memphis basketball signee, he entered a guilty plea Thursday in connection to a shooting that occurred outside of his California home. And he pleaded guilty to one count of making uh, criminal threats. And his sentencing date has officially been set for August 12, 2024. And as part of the conditions of his guilty plea, uh, Mikey is going to have to complete anger and gun safety courses, um, as well as 80 hours of community service before his sentencing date. And if completed, the charge will be reduced to a misdemeanor. And Mike Williams will also have a 10 year gun uh, restriction um, on his record, man. Sheesh. Compared to what this man was gonna get 28 years or what, however much he was fighting, even if it was five years, even if it's just a year in jail, like this is honestly good news. Uh, for Mikey Williams, and you really gotta think about it, bro. This man really got arrested earlier, I believe it was April or March. So if you think about it, bro, that's what, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, bro. Um, it's been like eight, nine months, bro, and this man, Mike Williams, has been fighting for his life, bro. <laughs> like, I don't think you guys understand, bro, 28 years, bro, this man, Mike Williams, has been fighting for his life, not just behind the scenes, but this is actually going on in front of millions and millions of people like i'm literally making a video about this whole situation like everybody's talking about it on twitter everybody's gonna give their opinions like i don't think you guys understand like imagine being mike Williams. like put yourself in mike Williams's um life for just one second bro and imagine fighting a case like this in front of millions and millions of people people are giving their opinions people are saying this people are spitting out wrong information people are saying like i honestly can't even imagine being mikey in this situation for the past few months and like, you guys gotta understand like this man already has haters and he has people that want to see him fail he has people that are jealous of him like bro this kid is only 18 17 years old and he's done a lot for the basketball community in regards to high school basketball like he's one of the first athletes to like get a real nil deal make over a million million dollars and actually treating his whole brand and his persona like an actual business like, like you got to understand people are really following his footsteps and he's not just a regular high school athlete like he's really in the hall of fame when it comes to this whole business and basketball moves and if you really think about it too like this kid is a high schooler or was a high schooler and has more followers and has much more of a branded impact than even professional athletes that's even in the nba nfl etc etc like just go on youtube and type in michael williams and go watch the actual games and how packed he was packing arenas people throwing stuff people trying to fight him fans trying to fight him like it's honestly crazy like what this man has really been through um since he started playing basketball in high school or at least been in the spotlight in front of everybody in high school and like i said this is really a blessing that he's free and i'm praying to god that he really learned uh, a huge lesson from all this like i really want to know like what mikey williams learned especially having to go through this uh for the past eight or nine months like I feel like he really needs to understand, like, bro, he's not an unstoppable human being, bro. I know he has the fame. I know he has all the money. He has all the cameras, but you just got to move and act a certain way. You can really make one wrong mistake and your whole life is literally turned completely 180. Like, this man's already lost so many deals. He's already lost so many endorsements, things like that. I'm sure he'll get a lot of things back if he's able to turn his head around, but you got to understand, bro, like, I really hope you learn from this situation. Like, imagine him going to jail for 28 years, bro. Imagine going to jail for 28 years. I'm not even 28 years. You probably, you watching this video, you're probably not even 28 years old, bro. Like, you haven't even lived half your life. And he was facing 28 years, bro. And 28 years from now, I don't even know what it's going to be like, 20, 50, something. Like, nobody's going to care about who he is or what he's done. So all that, like, being cool, trying to impress other people, having this persona, so like, it's just not worth it at the end of the day, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, too. It's even crazier with the whole video that they put out, the first video, um, the one they edited when he was walking out of, I think it was, like, the courtroom, wherever he was at where he had somebody holding him, he was walking out. Like, they just tried to make it seem like he was a rapper that just got out or something. But it's just, like, little stuff like that. Like, he just has to change, in my opinion, just the way he moves, the way the social media world perceives him because... It really can make an impact on who he is, especially 
him being a kid at the end of the day. I know people are going to make their jokes. I've even seen people in the comments making crazy jokes that he has all the requirements uh, to now play for the Charlotte Hornets, Memphis Grizzlies. I even made a couple jokes, but you know, he really just has to learn from this whole situation and really act accordingly just because I know a lot of people won't admit it, but Mikey really isn't a lock. Like he's not a generational talent to just make it to the league. Like he's not a player that's going to be you know, a lottery pick. He was never that type of player. There's really still a lot of things on the actual basketball court that he needs to improve on, things that he needs to do. We can really dive into that in a whole separate video, but I'm just happy that he's actually out. I know um, the University of Memphis hasn't said anything. This is really all still new, but um, I still believe he's still on the actual basketball team. He's still on the actual roster um, on their website. We don't officially know yet when he's going to be making his uh, Memphis debut in college or even go back onto the campus and school. I think right now he's actually been taking online classes and just doing that sort of thing since he's out been out on bond. But I'm pretty sure we'll hear back uh, pretty quickly um, just because the season's already started and whatnot. So hopefully we can see Mikey Williams play sooner rather then later hopefully december january whenever that does occur i'll probably make a separate video going more in depth about his actual game and how he may fit or not fit at memphis just because i know they got a lot of new recruits they got some upperclassmen that's came on board as well so um, this team is completely different than whenever mikey originally had committed uh, to go to memphis but like i said at the end of the day bro i'm just happy that my boy mikey Williams beat the case he's out Let's just pray, bro. He really learns from this situation, bro. The whole too cool for school attitude, bro. It's just got to go, man. Like I said, at the end of the day, Mikey Williams is still the GOAT, um, in my personal opinion. We all want to see Mikey win, but we can't see you win if you're in jail, if you're doing all this stuff that just doesn't need to be done. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 30K. See you guys in the next one. Peace.